Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you my thoughts on the royal family, and at the moment it seems to be Harry who is still grabbing the headlines. I'll try and answer some of your questions as promised in this video. A question several of you asked is, what is this diversion and what do I mean by referring to it as a show or a movie? I'm unable to go into details regarding this at the moment, but I believe it won't be too long before it's clear to everyone as to what I meant. I know that's an easy thing to say, but um, all I can say is wait and see. Just look at everything, not just the royals. Just recently, three prime ministers of different countries stepped down on practically the same day, and all the others over the last couple of years. It's unprecedented. Sorry, I cannot be more precise. Another question was, could Meghan be planning to use all of this against Harry, i.e. all the accusations and talk of women coming out to speak about his ill treatment of them and his bodyguards? She could say that she was a victim of DV and gained sympathy and a substantial div divorce settlement. Yes, I agree. She could be planning this, especially as it seems she's in the company of a billionaire nowadays. We said it wouldn't be long, didn't we? She's um, been hanging around with um, one of the Gettys. Um, I can't remember which one. Another question is, why would King Charles need to step down from being crowned? I referred to this due to information I was given, which was not that it was going to happen, but that the palace were preparing for the possibility that it could happen. They have to be prepared for last minute changes. And it was said that this could be one of them. The reason was that with all the stuff coming out about Harry and also Meghan's alleged surrogacies would make Charles look partly responsible for not taking action and covering up. It could be that he is given no option but to abdicate. But it hasn't happened yet. It's just they've got to be prepared. Whereas Prince William was the one taking action and refusing to give in to his brother and wife. Having said all that, I do believe that the plan is to override Charles and go straight to William. If the coronation goes ahead, which it probably will, or maybe it will appear to, then we have to look very carefully at the ceremony. We only have the Queen's coronation to compare it with, but it will be interesting to see any differences in the recitations and the oath that King, King Charles makes, or William, depending on what happens. Someone also said that they would not be surprised if Marcus Anderson was the donor of the alleged offspring. This would keep them royal if he is indeed the son of Andrew and also makes a lot of sense because I was told that Meghan had her, her eggs frozen in Toronto years ago. Marcus has been so close to her for so long that why just have the eggs frozen? Why not have fertilised eggs frozen? Also, with Harry having been said to be infertile, due to having an operation as a child for undescended testicles, it makes sense. The videos and photos of a young Archie looks very much like Marcus, and also the child is looking at the person behind the camera as if they are very familiar, i.e. a parent. Some of you have asked which story will come out soon. Well, as the papers are looking more into the surrogacy story, maybe it will be that, but whichever one it is, it could be the reason to get Charles to step down. Those of you who like to end on a positive note, here's a slideshow of some royal positivity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.